Keep the Facts Going, an Africa Check initiative, helping you sort fact from fiction. Welcome to Keep the Facts Going, a series from Africa Check to help you sort fact from fiction. In the series, we're going to help you sort through the clutter of information that we find online every day. We're going to help you spot and then stop the spread of false information, whether it be on WhatsApp, Facebook, or Twitter. My name is Kate Wilkinson, and I'm the Deputy Chief Editor at Africa Check. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a reverse image search. We often see false, misleading, or out of context images being shared during breaking news events. Fact checkers, like those at Africa Check, work to establish if the story that is attached to an image is actually true. And to do this, we often do a reverse image search. This is because false, misleading, and out of context images can have serious consequences. They can incite tensions between racial and ethnic groups, and in some cases, they can lead to violence. Let's go through the steps that you'll need to follow in order to do an image search for yourself. A great tool to use is called TinEye, and it's free. Maybe a friend or family member has sent you an image on WhatsApp, and you're not sure if it's legit. Or you've seen a viral image on Facebook and Twitter. That's when you hop onto TinEye. You just have to follow these easy steps. First, download the picture onto your device, whether it's a laptop or your phone. Open tinai.com, upload the picture, and then click enter. It'll then show you a list of the times and the places where that image or one similar to it have been published before. You'll be able to look at when and where they were published, and you'll also be able to compare different versions of that picture, so you can see if maybe two pictures have been combined to mislead. This is because sometimes people do do that. They'll take two different pictures and manipulate them in some way. Or they may take a picture from a different place and a different event and present it as something that's happened much more recently. Another good tip is to look at the details in a picture. You want to look at maybe the weather, the clothes that people are wearing, or even the language that they're speaking. By spotting inconsistencies, you may be able to prevent yourself or your friends and family from being fooled. You can share these tips online with your friends and family and with your colleagues so that they won't be fooled or misled by out of context images. And remember to keep the facts going and to stop the spread of false information online. Keep the facts going, an Africa Check initiative, helping you sort fact from fiction.